I'm Dakota Peterson reporting for MHS TV News. A hot button topic around the school recently has been the quality of the water fountains. So let's take a sip and see how it tastes. There are several different water fountains around the school, some better than others. One of the water fountains in the first floor hallway was replaced sometime last year. Well, the uh, existing water fountain that was there, uh, it was 35 years old and it got uh, clogged and, and wouldn't drain anymore, so it had to be removed and, and repiped in. The new water fountain is arguably the best in comparison to the other water fountains in the school, some of which barely even work. So why, you may ask, was only one of the water fountains replaced? It's not like we, we did a wholesale change of the drinking fountains. We just uh, do them as they um, break, more or less. This broken water fountain on the third floor could be next. We went around and asked students and faculty for their opinions on the water fountains in the school. I think that the water fountains could be better here and that it's not nice when there's gum in the water fountains all the time. And I think they could definitely be cleaner and it's not a hard policy to implement. Also, just they're not always cold, which is when you're in class for six hours, it's nice to be able to rely on some cold water to wake you up. So overall, they're not bad, but they can definitely be improved. Since I was asked to conduct this interview, uh, I took the time to try the water fountain on the first floor that a lot of kids have been talking about over the last couple of years. My fear is that this could be a fad. The water fountain is tasty. It is cold. The water is refreshing. But the one in the strength and conditioning room is tried and tested for the past 10 years. And therefore, the best water fountain in this school, undeniably, is in the strength and conditioning room of Melrose High School. I think that the water fountains in the school are disgusting. Um, they always have stuff in them. I don't like them. My favorite water fountain is the first floor new one because it's the coldest. Well, I, I prefer actually the, uh, the water fountain in the uh, central prep area of science uh, where I fill my own bottle. As you can see, opinions vary among students and faculty. So in the end, it's up for you to decide. For MHS TV News, I'm Dakota Peterson. Back to you.